Well, howdy folks, Hal Crix here, and welcome to Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere, episode 115. And today we're going to be talking about some basic things that you can do when we're facing the clans. Yes, it's the 3050 era, and you've been running around fighting each other in all the different houses, and mercenary commander getting a contract here and there, and you're just going with your basic technology that you have and suddenly these guys come from the out in the periphery and they're ripping everything apart they're called the clans and they got all this high-tech equipment what do you do well suddenly some stuff has been rushed from the factories and they're selling everything willy-nilly everywhere and everybody's going what is all this new high fangled equipment that we can pick up do we buy it what do we do well i'm here to say there's some basic things you can do as a commander that will improve a mech greatly. And what is that? You say the double heat sink. Yes, the double heat sink is something that will improve any mech in the inner sphere in the, that's from the 3039 era moving into the 3050 era when we're fighting the clans. Because the clans have all the goodies that it, we wish we could have. And they're just shoving it down our throats with lots of energy and firepower tearing us apart. So, what can you do? All right, let's just uh, go through the book here. I'm looking through the 3039 era book right now. And we just look at, let's say, where is it? The Jenner 35. There we go. Here's a good example of what we can do. Now we know the Jenner has 10 heat sinks, all right? Single heat sinks. And it has four medium lasers and an SRM4. We're looking at the standard one that's right out of the book, the D version, Delta. And that is pumping out a lot of heat because it's a 7.11.5. It, let's say it does jump, fires all four medium lasers and the uh, SRM4. Wow. You're looking at 12, 17, um, oh, jeez, 20 heat, and it can only dissipate 10? Man, that thing's going to fry. You're going to suddenly have them problems. And like I've always said, you, how do you kill a light mech? Slow it down. And if you did that in a game, let's say you're in a 39 era, and you just went up on the heat scale Man, you're slowing down greatly. And then what happens to the light mech when it slows down? It's easier to hit. And what happens to the light mech when it gets hit? It gets ripped to pieces. So, you throw on 10 double heat sinks. You no longer have to worry about that problem with heat. You can take care of all of it. You're running cold all the time. So, you can just fly through the battlefield as fast as you can and ripping away with all your weapons. Yep, makes you happy. That's because you went from 10 singles to 10 doubles. Just with one piece of equipment, one piece of a technology that will greatly improve a mech no matter what. Alright, now well, just look at the Panther. The Panther 9R has that PPC and SRM4 and some jump jets. All right, you're in a city fight. You're going through a city block. You jump over a building because you're a 464. You get in behind some and you throw that that PPC in. You it's like, oh, I'm right in their, on their six and I'm going to throw some right down their center torso. I'm going to hit them with 10 and I'm following up with that SRM. So you fire that and you jumped at the same time. You're looking at four or seven. All right, so you're looking at, you are just went up six, seven, up on a heat scale. So you're forced to have to jump again. Ah, but you have 13 duh, heat sinks. Singles, yes, that's singles. But if you went with doubles, you went with 10 double heat sinks. Wow. You don't have to worry about that heat problem anymore. And you can do these things. Uh, now you're looking at is 13 heat sinks and you have 10 doubles. Okay, that frees up three tons. Wow, suddenly you have a mech that with three free tons, what can you do with it? Well, one thing I might think about is upgrading that PPC to an ER PPC, because now you just got rid of the minimum range problems, so you can fire it in our face 
if you have to. And what does interfered like to do with things? They like to get in somebody's face. And if you're facing a cleanse, get in their face. Get up right close and personal with them. Grab them. And so you can upgrade this mech with an ERPPC. You have a couple, three tons to play with. You might want to just upgrade that SRM4 to an SRM6. Yeah. And that leaves you with a couple more tons. What are you going to do with it? I might think about throwing on a couple medium lasers in addition. All right. That's something that I would do. Yeah. And drink water. Yeah. All right. So that's something that you can do with just plain old double heat sinks. You changed one thing on a mech and it turns it into a mech that's really good. And it can reach out and touch somebody at a longer range. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go through. It's like you can look at any mech. It's like, uh, let's say the Clint, you go from 10 heat sinks standards to 20 dissipate. So now that really, that thing can then jump, fire the, the medium lasers than the auto cannon and not worry about heating up. All right. That's one thing good about it. Uh, okay, here we go. The Centurion. Centurion has 10 heat sinks. Double it. Put on 10 doubles. They dissipate 20. Greatly improved. So the auto cannon and the LRM and two medium lasers. All right, so you can fire everything you got on that thing and then not worry about any type of heat. The Centurion is not really a great one that helps it as much as others but just a slight tweet that's what it can help out and uh you'd have to think about if that's something you want to do now what it really helps out is enforcer now the force enforcer has 12 double heat sinks ah so let's just go with 10 doubles or 10 singles go with 10 doubles that frees up two tons uh, you can go with an ER large laser instead of the large laser. You got two tons. I would upgrade that small laser to a medium laser. And then we might throw, take that half ton that you would got there and toss that into more armor. So that frees up another ton. I might think about just adding another medium laser. All right. So your 464, you can just pay a lot of heat and you got a little more firepower and suddenly you got an ac10 and the er large laser so you can fire down range a little bit better comparatively ah here we go <laughs> this one uh, this one's going to be interesting yeah i think i'm coming down with a cold uh we've got a 464 hunchback no it's not a 464 just kidding uh we have 13 heat sinks you can increase that to 10 doubles. Wow. So now we're dissipating 20 heat. And we got three tons that we can play with. Well, what would I do with three tons? Hmm. There's lots of options. We'll just, there's the swayback version. We can talk about that in a second. That might be interesting. But you take, you have three tons to play with. Now just think about it. A hunchback. Convert that AC-20 to a Gauss rifle. Throw that in there. Ooh, that would be an interesting one to play with. Yeah, you don't have to worry about heat at all anymore, but you just freed up uh, some tonnage because you put double heat sinks on. And now you got a Gauss rifle on a hunchback. That might be an interesting thing to throw at somebody sometime. Eh, things you play with. And then you can throw on some more medium lasers for something up close and personal. Yeah, you can dissipate all that heat if you want to. Now, the Swayback version has eight medium lasers and I think 20, is it 23? Uh, let's see here. Does it say Swayback? Trying to read this here. That doesn't say. This talks about it. But I know that the Swayback has eight medium lasers, I think 24. Can dissipate up to 24, 23 heat. All right. So if you just turned around and uh, took some of that and tossed it into a double heat sinks, that's free up even more. 
you might be able to put it like an ER large laser on it. It's like imagine those double heat sinks, throw some five of those heat sinks into a ER large laser to give it some long range and then you have all those extra, still have all those medium lasers. So that is something that turns a standard sway back hunchback into something that can shoot down range with that ER large and still has the medium lasers. Eh, kind of a change. Ah, there's one up here I'm going to talk about real quick. Uh, Alright, the grasshopper. Now imagine the grasshopper. Running around with 22 heat sinks. Wow. Alright, it has a large laser, four medium lasers, an LRM-5, and then some jump jets. Yep. This is one that's just screaming for double heat sinks. Yes! Uh, you throw some double heat sinks on this thing, just give it, let's say 16. All right. So then you got 16 double heat sinks. That frees up six tons. I would do this. You got five tons to play with, or six tons. I would put five of it into a ER large laser. So you have, convert the other one to an ER large laser. So now you have two ER large lasers, another ton left over. I would maybe throw that into another medium laser. So now you got five medium lasers and then two ER large lasers. All because you changed it to double heat sinks. It's not a great change on the mech, but just because you have all that extra uh, tonnage left over because of double heat sinks from the standard singles. Alright, let's go back one more page. There, Ryan. Here's one mech that's just screaming for double heat sinks. Now you got a heavy mech. 75 tons with only 10 heat sinks. Yep. You put 10, convert the 10 heat sinks that's already on there to 10 doubles. You can dissipate 20. And now you can take a mech that's running fairly hot into something that can run fairly cool with no problem. That is one that just improves the Orion greatly. And you're not changing any of the weapons or anything on it. You're just changing what's mostly on the engine. All right. That is something that's really good. Uh, the awesome... Wow, here's something that can be really interesting. Now, I played with this one here. Is that you can take the awesome and convert it to 16 double heat sinks because it's carrying around 28. That will free you up 12 tons, I believe. And you can turn it from a 350 mech to a 460. So you can increase its speed and not change its firepower at all other than converting to I think it's the small laser now becomes a medium laser so you get three PPCs and then you have the medium laser so you're dissipating a little bit more heat and you improved its speed so it's more mobile that's something that a lot of people like if you increase the mobility of a mech and get it to where you need it to go faster uh dissipate you can put the fire down range in a or dissipate faster you know that helps out greatly uh now if you're really a stickler you want to stay with the standard uh, uh movement of three five you heck you could uh, leave it that way free up uh 12 tons uh you could put make it a three five three uh, give it jump jets that would help out and then uh, that would leave you with I say it was I say 12 yeah 12 so that gives you six more tons so you could put I say six medium lasers on it I wouldn't think about that or even five put five medium lasers and um, That'd be interesting. Give it an ER PPC. And then five medium lasers. And then two standards. Huh. Yeah. That might be interesting to try out sometime. 
Because if somebody comes in close and you now have a lot of firepower in close. Because that's one thing about the awesome is like a lot of times you get into his face and it's got those penalties. That's how you handle the awesome. Uh, let's see if we got any more mechs. Uh, the Victor. Yeah, here's one. A really good one. You got a 464 mech. Uh, 15 heat sinks. Give it to say 10 doubles. That will free up 5 tons. Uh, you could upgrade the AC-20 if you wanted to to a Gauss rifle. And then SRM-6 for the change it to a, from an SRM-4 to an SRM-6. Still in the same rack area. You're just making it bigger and then that frees up uh, you got three more tons, and you could throw all that into armor if you wanted to. And then, if you really want to get into other technologies like ferro fibers, yeah, heck, that's something else that we're going to be talking about. Maybe in a next, another video is other type of technology you can do a mech to improve it. Uh, Zeus, here's another one that's just screaming for a little bit more firepower. The Zeus. All right, it's got 17 heat sinks. All right, you could give it, let's say, 15. Oh, here's, yeah, it's only got 184 points of armor. This is something that's really screaming for more armor. You could even just go with, let's say, 12 double heat sinks. That frees up 5 ton. That would dissipate 24. You could upgrade your to an ER large laser and then you could give it more armor and that would leave you with probably a couple tons left over and that would either uh, let's see you could go with maybe some more medium lasers etc that type of deal or give another ton of ammo to the LRM 15 what really needs it so there's a lot of things you can do so you can exchange things out there. just because all you did was give something uh, a little bit more dissipation capability uh the stalker oh yes i love the stalker it's got 20 heat sinks there's something that's screaming for uh doubles oh yeah uh you could go with this thing which a lot of times I've done is just go with 15 doubles so you can dissipate 30 heat free up five tons uh, maybe toss a little bit into a little more armor or you could then you could upgrade your large lasers to ER larges and then uh, oh what else could you do throw in maybe upgrade the alarms it's up to you Sky's the limit. And if you really are a stickler for uh, st staying within a certain range, hey, it's yours to play with. It's your mercenary commander. So that's a, some basic ideas what you can do with a mech. Let's say like the Cyclops. Oh, yes, the Cyclops. Uh, here's the Cyclops. has 12 heat sinks. You could uh, convert that to 10 doubles. That frees up two tons and what would help the cyclops out greatly is just throw that right into armor because it only has 160 points yeah it needs armor badly uh oh yes the banshee the sad banshee yeah i'm not going to talk about that one it's a lot of work that one there's two different versions there's the one that's the slower version and there's the one the e version eh I don't like that one at all. The Atlas. Oh my gosh. Yeah, take a drink of water a second here. Yeah, I think my wife brought home the plague. All right, so we have the Atlas. Yes. Doesn't need armor, but it has 20 heat sinks. This is something that really could uh, greatly benefit from having doubles. Oh, let's say you go with a 16 double heat sinks that frees at four tons. You could throw a ton into like the AC-20 and increase it to a Gauss rifle. That leaves you three tons left over. And then you could uh, probably add in some more medium lasers or something of that nature. 
or even toss on Artemis on your LRM20. That would be, and then maybe upgrade your SRM6 to a streak or something of that nature. All because you put on double heat sinks. And it's just basic stuff that you can do with a mech. So that's the gist of everything is that you don't have to go hog wild to improve a mech. All you got to do is just change its heat sinks. And when you're, it's like you're facing the clans, the clans, like I said before, the clans like to stay at medium to longer ranges when you're fighting them or when, when you're fighting with the clan because then you're taking advantage of hitting somebody from your kind of your sweet spot and they are fighting from their medium to longer ranges. Your a clan's medium range might be a long range for the inner sphere. And that's to their advantage because they got better pilots and better speed with all their mechs. So why do they want to close? They don't want to close. All right. So if you're not going to close, they force the inner sphere to have to close. They have to run up, constantly running up and grabbing a hold of the, uh, the clan mechs and get in their face, turn it into a rugby scrum or something of that nature, a hockey match. And by just changing your one piece of equipment on your mechs you can free up more tons improve your weapon systems one of the best things you can do is converting your large lasers to er larges your ppcs to er ppcs let's say you got an ac20 you can improve that to like a gauss rifle if you have the free tons because you put on heat sinks doubles and that improves your ranges so you can hit the clans better all right and then it may even help you to run and and continue to fire while you're running up and getting closer and getting into the terrain that will help you fight the clans so it's a little bit of give and take in some of it but it's just one piece of equipment that i always look at first that's one of the first things i always like looking at how do I improve a older mech design? Doesn't have to necessarily tear it to pieces. It's just one piece of equipment. All right. Hope you guys like this one. Uh, there's more to come of uh, the technology stuff for the inner sphere. All right. We'll talk with you later. Elk XL.